welcome back to the Michiganer and the Buckeye State Wells. I have decided just to hold off every single good catches that I have got in a year just to put into this video. Last good catch was me in the February 23rd of 2024. Where in March of 19th of 2023, this video was taken in Bellevue, Ohio, where we would see an NS 12 Q going into the yard of Four Main Yard. So the reason why this this train is in this video, well, maybe because there is a weird DPU that is a Heritage Maroon and Gray. 76 team. 76 team is the Maroon and Gray DP Heritage locomotive that is being trailed as a weird DPU for today's 12 DPU. So, 7016 is not the only heritage unit that I would catch in Bellevue, Ohio today. There will be another one, but it will be until the very far afternoon. Two seventy one. It's basically an animal from Sandusky to Norfolk, Virginia. It would have NS8103, the Norfolk and Western Heritage Locomotive. This came out of nowhere. As I thought it would be like already gone through above you, like in the early morning, something like that. I'm fairly wrong. Here it is going through above you now. A 
I thought the North of the Western was already gone, and it was thought it was long south from here. Well, from the late afternoon, that explains it. I was just randomly just well fitting around for you for the day. That will be in a segment video. But for right now, we're looking into good catches. But anywho, this one now have a DPU. I would thought of chasing it southward towards Attica Junction, but I was not one of the units. I would end up just sticking around above you for like another two hours, so wouldn't see anything special, but it was something like sophisticated. I did end up seeing a CNSD 75i, which ain't special for me because I do see it. CN a lot, and it's, it's boring, but whatever. 271 is basically one of the southbounds in Immortals. I would thought this one would be 273. A short 29P entering the interlocking of Bio Post 297 on the Chicago line with a BMSF C40-9 and a Unit Pacific SD70 Ace. 29P is going to have an easy trip to Chicago today. It's a very short. Now we're here at Fostoria, which is August of 2023. Made a trip over to the Australia just to catch the BNL Heritage locomotive being on IO10. <laughs> I double ten is basically one of the hot shots in the models that runs on the Garrett and Willard subdivision around from Chicago to basically all the way to Willard, but doesn't really tournament in Willard, that's where the line Willard ends. Where this train goes, goes all the way to Fort Newark, New Jersey, so they got quite a way to go for their adventure out east. So today was a very lucky one to get the B&O. It might, and it, it's pretty cool to see. Back in like 2023, I have seen basically five heritage units, all leading. So it was pretty cool to catch. 
all heritage from CNN so far. Five heritage back last year, catching all the leads, which is pretty cool. I have actually uploaded every single one besides this B&O shot. And anywho, if you guys are wondering what the next train is, I'm not gonna get to that just yet. You guys are gonna have to wait and see. So, the train that we are actually here for would be Ida Little 10, but not really just that. This is something that's coming out of the um, Segus, New York, to no Baltimore, Ohio, will explain this type of power. Nine thousand six, nine thousand five. That is the sister duo of Dash Nines. ZSX had decided just to put them in storage since they got all of their Blair Max rebuilded and won it on the ZSX's system. At this point, I have seen quite a bit of their Blair Max, hoping to get some soon. Which, what next? There should be out of a CS6 system. Not really sure where, but whatever. Anywho, my reason why catching that one is because I heard about 161 with the Dash 9 Duo. The Dash 9 Duo you don't really get to see anymore, especially 2024. They all are in storage besides the wheat build. Dash 9 or whatever, Dash 8. The we build ones that are running right now, so it's just sad to say that everything has to go bye bye, but the only thing we got running right now is the player map. The only one that they ain't we built it is TSX T4810.
basically a friendly crew on 277 today. We're still in August. Who cares? Whatever. So, basically, 277 is basically a Norfolk, Virginia to Landers Yard in Chicago, Illinois. That ace would not be the only unit that will be leading this 277. That, however, there are going to be some big DPUs that are going to be coming up in the next second. Since I've got some editing skills, I can do that right now. <laughs> so, with the mid DPU, they are some BNSF GEs as a mid DPU on a 277. We're now in November, and the reason why I'm back out here, it's because I would do some well fanning beforehand, and maybe of a 510, would be having some special leader of him, and um, yeah, we would take a little look, see what the unit is. Yeah, y'all seen that correctly. It's basically a Dash 9. 906 is basically one of the Dash 9 that I saw back in August, where it had the two sister units, 906 and 905. 906 is leading N510, bound for Detroit from Cincinnati, Ohio. They would do some switching, and after they did that, they would make their way north towards Detroit, Michigan.
Seventy-three is still like miles, like a hundred miles away. He's in Conway now. Yeah, but that's still like at least two yeah. hours away. Let me see what this looks like. Professional scholars. He's trying to come back and play power for it. Make more sense. How good is the quality out of this? Whenever I can, whenever I get my hand on my server, playing. At 3455, At 3444. Did they clear fast? It was $9,600. Just double check to make sure I was right. Yeah. K5H race layer on the left. You know what's hilarious? The last eastbound we had ended with an on-rack. Look at what it ends with now. Yeah. And so it's another auto rack. How fitting. Can you do the update? I'm looking at that. 42 and a half. Same here. I'm a close friend of the group. Yeah, I'm going to go with the group. What? I still hear that K5A. I swear. Oh, yeah, there's another eastbound. Eastbound. What are we back out here for? It's still November. Well. <laughs> This might be a little bit of craziness. 
but a mace is leading. What the heck? This ain't special. But the twelve and th three and fourth units maybe are. As well, fans, we don't see this type of power anymore. There were lasers from different railroads. I'm surprised to shock them to see them today on a 511 towards Cincinnati, Ohio. Those right there are basically X CSX SD78. CSX back then used to had some EMD SD78 aces on their roster, but CSX did not have them anymore. The only thing that we have EMD or SD40s, SD50s, bases, and now Flare Max. So that's the only thing that we have for EMD. SD-70 Aces used to be really good, but they were also pretty bad at the same time on the CSX roster. Prior to the radio, we would hear of some action around Langar on the Canadian National. Anywho, the Lorian Grinder would be doing their grinding up the whales, whatever, and shining up the tracks. That would not have been the set. This is the set, and of course, whatever time I shot manual, it would go out of focus. Not auto, though. That would not be the only reason why we came over here to this crossing just to see the Loring Grinder. The only reason why we did is to see some, well, we heard about a CN M382 leaving Langyard for Toronto, Ontario. 
able to have one of the GE's blue Jeevo. I have no idea what the Astral Jeevo or whatever it is. I heard it's like a testing Jeevo along the um, testing track in Erie, Pennsylvania. Let's get to 82. GECX 2037 would be the trailing unit on 382. That would be really cool to catch because I haven't seen one of those units in a long time actually. The last time I did was quite a while. So just to see that unit again is pretty cool. Those units are actually really cool. I use those for testing out in Erie, Pennsylvania. So this is basically a 41N. This grand train would basically be running on the Faustoria district. And we're here well fitting at Faustoria. It's because this is New Year's Eve. And this is the last day of the year of 2023 I was able to... Well... 
besides chasing 1776. That video's been up for like months or two. And this would actually be the last train of 2023 that I would actually capture full video. I did full video on L70, but that mic was bad on the other camera. So now I'm shooting with my Sony. So, the Sony gives out a really good capture video. And it does do pretty quick for video and pretty smoothly since I'm doing 60 frames per second. So, let's get the west of the grain train and of the west of this year. This is basically NS334. Above you do Detroit, Michigan. And what is his leader? Well, it's a KCS Grey Ghost. I have always wanted to see one for years now. And now, finally, of January 31st of 2024, I would get to see one in person. Not with online cams finally get to see one in person. I just got lucky of getting out of work and seeing this right after work. Could have been perfect time. Let's get the Grey Ghost now. Well, I will say that was perfect timing. Just getting out of work and we got in a southbound manifest that was going south. Triple three would be the manifest that was going south. Or 10N. Not sure. But right after that cleared, the switch was thrown for 334. And I think to myself, is he really going to get to go? Or is he just going to sit there even more? <laughs> right after the switch moved, the headlights of the Grey Ghost leader, 4565, the headlights on that one would immediately turn on. They were shut off when we got to this location. They were on immediately after the switch was flowed. So that typical means that this was going to move. Finally, finally after years I get to see one in person. I'm so happy. Let's get to the west of this 334.
we would not be ending up the video here. We would get one more special catch that would ending up be trailing on I-132. 132 is a slim and a noise to basically Detroit, Michigan. And what the unit is, you guys will see in a second. One thirty two would ending up being clear well over Alexis by two minutes. And by the time I got to this location, he was around the corner while Stern closed and I saw the headlight like two minutes after arriving. That was perfect time. Good to see power by people once again. That unit is good to see. Now, it's safe to say, this will be any haul here, in this video here. With unlimited catches throughout two states, which is Ohio and Michigan. But, I will be signing off here at Erie, Michigan. I will be seeing y'all in the Michigan State, or the Buckeye State will.